came up about oh, three inches, ten inches short on a birdie putt. And I'm just supposed to tap in and uh, you tap in really short. The gimme wasn't a gimme. It was not a gimme. I can't tell you like I know I'm sure it's happened, but I'm sure I've seen it. I just don't remember a shot with a putt that short being missed like that. Everybody talks about, you know, like a real short putt that Scott Hoke missed it when he won the Masters, but it was a little longer than that. That was unbelievable. I never, I'm telling you, I don't think I've seen anything like that. Well, it almost rivaled his unbelievable great shot at the Masters last year. Greatest shot of all time, right? Oh, yes, the one that skipped off the water and, and yes, yeah, yeah, the practice round shot. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what what was, what caught my eye was, and I'm not going to criticize him for missing a uh, putt or a short putt because oh. I can't make Perfect. it myself. Perfect. Uh, yeah, no, you can make that. Well, I probably could, but I'm not going to. I'm sure that's what it was, but we have all been in that situation where we miss a shot that we think we should make, and we either, you know, we blame the putter, we blame, uh, you know, something in between the ball and the hole that maybe we didn't see, a, a little pine needle that makes it go awry, and there's something that we blame, and we have a go-to. Maybe that's just his go-to. Like, yeah. it, you know, if he misses a putt, he cleans off his putter face, and then he knocks it in. Maybe that's just his go-to. What is your go-to? Couldn't have been my fault. It had to be the putter excuse or your, your expression that you say every time something like that happens. Or your buddy. Do you have a buddy that has a go-to excuse when they miss a piece of shot?
friend that when we used to play pickup yeah. basketball all the time, when we were younger, that like he would turn the ball over and he'd always go, my thumbs. It's like seriously. What would he say? What? Why was it his thumbs? His thumbs just got in the way. Apparently, he sprained one of his thumbs like one time. But he oh. always used that as an excuse. So year after year, it's the same yeah. sprained thumb. I mean, my other friend. That's the beautiful about thing it. about it is, is it, everybody I has the go to. They can't, it can't possibly be you. No, like so. If me and my other buddy would be playing uh, catch with a football or something, one of us would drop it. We'd mock him and go, "My thumbs, oh, my thumbs." <laughs> yes. I can, I can imagine, John. They, they use this excuse a lot. I'm not really sure how much of a legitimate excuse. Like the late, when a guy kicker misses a field goal and the laces aren't perfect. Oh yeah, the laces. The, yeah. Annou- the, the announce. I mean, uh, the, the kickers never say anything usually at least publicly. But you know, you know the announcer. Oh, look at that. The laces were you know. Yeah. Held the, uh, held the correct way. Yeah, laces or or the blame the the, the the snapper or the holder on you know oh the rotation of the ball should have been such that. They just get the yeah. place down, and it's not up to the kicker. Well, you know, I, yeah, it's not up to the kicker where the ball is placed, but it is up to you. Just kick it through the damn uprights. I imagine there's been some offensive linemen who have uh, given up sacks and, you know. Oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't well, hear that. Yeah, I didn't hear that. I didn't see the ball snapped. No, I wasn't even going that far. You're right. Uh, of course, I held the ball too long. Not my fault. Oh. I'm sure the quarterbacks <laughs> use that excuse, too. The opposite. John, would you like to comment? Yeah, no, um, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few things that, that are said in the huddle. Um, and, yeah, throw the damn okay. ball, get rid of the damn ball. Uh, you had plenty of time. What are some things that quarterbacks do besides what you just mentioned to make offensive linemen look bad? Well, stand there and play with the ball. <laughs> the centers? Uh, no. Uh, the things that quarterbacks do um, that annoy us offensive linemen, uh, anytime they change the rhythm of their cadence or the inflection of their voice, and it's not normal, right? Because if you change your inflection of your voice in practice, that's one thing. You do it in the game, and all of a sudden, if it's a hard count and you give up you know, a hard two, but you don't normally do that, and all of a sudden everybody jumps off sides, that's on the quarterback. Because he changed the inflection of his voice, and that's one of the things that you'll hear back in the huddle is, it, you know, you're blaming the quarterback because of of the change that he had at the line of scrimmage. Patrick Williams was 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 king of that. Uh, we get to the line of scrimmage, and it was always you know, red and blue were or, or, or yellow, you know, something with an R in it, something with a L in it was for right and left, right? Those were the hot colors, and he would get up there and you know. Steakhouse. They also have another touch of Detroit. 
Coney Island. That's right, American Coney Island, right there at the D. A lot of long bar, a lot of fun. Bartenders you know, juggling the bottles, having a great time. You got the new sports book there, Bar Canada. So much fun. Uh, Mike, Rico, and the boys, they'll be there for a couple of weeks. For the uh, first round of March Madness, they'll be in Vegas. So, book a room today. Go online to D.com. That's right, the D Las Vegas. Your home for Detroit sports. WWJ AMI 50 Traffic Center. This report brought to you by Basements Plus. 75 Northbound at Rochester Road. There's an accident reported with about a half a mile backup. Also, a disabled vehicle in the left lane of 94 Eastbound just after the lodge. And 275 Northbound still heavy and slow between Michigan Avenue and M1496. We've all witnessed what the changing weather has done to the roads. Well, it can do the same to your basement. If you notice water getting in through cracks, rot holes, or other areas, contact Basements Plus for all your basement needs. Visit basementsplus.com. That's basement. Plus.com. I'm Michelle Pena with traffic. Necessary roughness with former NFL lineman TJ Lang and John Jansen. Download it today on the Odyssey app. This is JR from the JR Sport Brief with an Odyssey Sports Minute. Kevin Durant is back, and the Nets still lost last night to the Heat despite him dropping 31 points like he never left. And he better get used to carrying the load. Kyrie still can't play at home. Joe Harris is done for the year. And Ben Simmons, he's been out with a back injury. Wink, wink. Durant might be healthy, but don't be surprised if he's out next with a back injury from carrying this one. I'm JR. Great news from Rocket Mortgage. You could unlock more cash than you realize from your home's equity with a cash out refinance today. In fact, in the last year, average home values have gone up nearly 20%. That means you could unlock thousands of dollars. And with Rocket Mortgage, you could unlock all that cash in less than three weeks. But you've got to act right now before rates go up because nobody knows how long these low rates will last. Put your hard-earned money to work. Make your life better. Build a home office. Remodel your kitchen. Or simply save that cash for a rainy day. Today's rate on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage is 3.25%, 3.48% APR. So you can lock in a great low monthly payment. When you're looking to unlock the cash in your home, Rocket can. Call 8338-ROCKET. What's up? Graph to Lodge.
Because he just called. What's up, Slick Willie? What are, what are we talking about here? Oh boy. Oh, uh, just got off the phone with Brett. Uh, you haven't talked to him yet? Yeah. He's probably gonna be calling you. Just hired two people. Entry level people, they're going to be scouters slash line locators. Said they were, they were like 19 years old. There you go. Uh, that's what he told me. Oh, so those are the two, so the one's older. for a, a larger truck. 